the previous page is asking us to look at the milligram or the milliliters and so we're going to go ahead and have to volume of a uh, of an acid using a gram equivalent weight for that acid and so the sample problem here before us is the following what volume in milliliters of a 0 0.100 molar sodium hydroxide solution would be required to titrate a 0 0.246 gram sample of a weak acid having an equivalent weight of 122 grams. Remember that the grams here represent the amount of mass of the acid that is proportional to one mole of that acid in solution. So it's kind of like a conversion factor for us. And so what we need to do is take some of the other numbers here. We've got a concentration and we have a mass of the sample. And so in order for us to proceed here, we kind of need to know how many moles we actually have. Since 122 grams is essentially what is found in one mole of the acid, we can definitely use this as a proportion and start by saying that this is going to be 122 grams per one mole of the acid. And so we usually would say the here, write the word acid or write HA. But essentially this is the... the uh, proportion here that we've got the conversion factor. And so since we've got this grams here, what we would need to do here is essentially just divide the mass that we have, 0 0.246 grams of the sample. And so we'll go ahead and write that like that. And we want to go ahead and divide this by the equivalent weight. In this particular case, it's 0.122 grams per mole of the acid. And so when we do this, notice that our units of grams are going to cancel. And what that's going to give us here are the number of moles. And so doing the math will yield the following. And so let me get rid of some of this other stuff so that we can make some room for us here. And so when we do the math, the math comes out to 2.016 times 10 to the negative 3. And this is going to be moles of the acid. Okay. And so what we've got to do here then is go ahead and use this information to find the volume. Remember that volume here is going to be critical when we actually pair it up with the moles because this volume here of 2.016 times 10 to the negative 3, this mole value rather, uh, these are the number of moles. And if I take this and I divide it by some unknown value of x, in which we're going to put in liters here, this should give me the concentration of the base. And so what we've got here is going to be the concentration of 0 0.100 molar. And what we do here is we're going to have to do a cross multiplication. So we'll take this x value, multiply it times 0 0.100, and that should give us what we need on the other side. And so what I'm going to go ahead and do here is kind of represent that as a mathematical on the other side. Let me go ahead and create this on the second page here if I can. And so what winds up happening here when we cross multiply is that you get one uh, the x liters times 0 0.100 molar. And so let me rewrite this here on the screen so you can see what I'm talking about. And so essentially what we're going to do is kind of erase all of this. And what we wind up having is the following. Let me just rewrite that problem one more time. So we wind up having here 2.016 I know that doesn't look very good but let me erase this try one more time and so that is like this 2.016 times 10 to the negative 3 and this is going to be moles and this is going to be equal now since I've already multiplied it across what we get here is going to be 0 0.100 molar times that x value of liters. And so now that we're free to do this, essentially what we've got to do then is remove the 0 0.100 molar from the right side to the other side. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is divide it out. And that's going to be 0 0.100 molar. That cancels on the right hand side. And what we do to the le right, we have to do to the left. And so we do that there as well. And we have this. Now keep in mind that when I actually do this, the big M right here is actually going to be moles per liter. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rewrite it as that. And so essentially is this per liter. 
When I do this, notice that my moles now are going to cancel, and when they do, I'm left with my volume in liters. So what winds up happening here in terms of our final solution on the left hand side is we take that 2.016 to the negative third divided by 0 0.100. That is going to give us the following answer, 0 0.02016. And of course here it's going to be liters. But keep in mind that this volume is in liters and our problem is asking us to give the answer in milliliters. So in order for me to calculate this in terms of the overall value that they want in the proper units, I do need to convert this one more time and so I know that one liter contains 1000 milliliters. right? And this is going to then give me the answer that I want in milliliters. Notice here I'm multiplying by 1000 so the number that I'm actually doing here is I'm going to have to move this decimal point to the right three decimal spaces. Okay, and so typically here you go one, two, three. So you notice here from the right hand side, or what I've done here in red, is that this is going to give us an answer of 20.16. And this is going to be in milliliters. Notice that all of our answers here are three significant figures. So even the concentration of sodium hydroxide over here is three significant figures. The 0.246 grams is significant to three digits, and the weight, uh, the equivalent weight of the acid here is 122, which also is three significant figures. And notice that the answer we've got here is four, so we need to look at the digit right here, the six. That will allow us then to round the one to a two, giving us a final answer of 20.2 milliliters. And this is our final answer of what is needed of sodium hydroxide. So let's go ahead and write that down. Sodium hydroxide to actually titrate 122 gram equivalent weight uh, sample of the acid.